Hey, what's up, guys? Been busy lately, so I uh, finally got a chance to to talk about this war. Um, yeah, th this war happened uh, probably about a week ago. Um, and then we, we got matched up with Moist, Moist Avengers again. And yeah, like, I don't know, this is like the second time fighting them within like the, f the last, like, I don't know, six wars or something at this point. Um, so yeah, but, but they, they actually look, uh, you know, at this point, they look quite, quite a bit stronger compared to the first time. Um, I think, actually, I think, you know, like the last time I went, get, went after this team as well, like, but he, he wasn't as strong, obviously at the time. I think he was like barely 90 uh, in, in terms of power. So, you know, in, in like a couple weeks, picked up about 7,000. It's quite a bit. Um, this was actually a really strong, uh, really, really good st starting board. I try to preserve some of the uh, stones. So that, that that's the thing you have to keep, you know, keep in mind. Um, when you have a nice starting board, you don't want to use up all the stones. And I, I went after Midas first because, you know, I, I don't want them to keep on getting shields. So got rid of him. And then, you know, I had mana control on uh, Palmera. And, you know, I, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm rolling now. And then I think I went after, uh, I probably should have gone after Irelia here. I think I took a hit on uh, Palmera because I know I can charge her up and then she's gonna get drained so I think you know I you know I was probably thinking like should I go after uh Palmera or Irelia and then I was like okay maybe I can you know take out Irelia with uh all my AoE damage you know and I think that that was a mistake I probably shouldn't have done that um I because I could have made another uh star with, uh, with with the stones there, but I I wanted to charge everyone, and actually at this point it it wasn't necessary. Um, so I probably should have just you know played it you know a little slower. Not I because I, I I didn't really need to do that at at that, at that point because uh, I had everyone charged. Uh, I mean I, I I didn't have to get everyone charged. I just had to you know make two moves or something. And it's kind of unfortunate that uh, the um, my uh, what's her name Zania got targeted there, and then um, and then at this point my you know the board's kind of dry because I, I used up all the stones, so I, I I don't know I don't know if you guys know this but you know when you uh, play mono and then use up a, a star then it gets really dry the board, um, so yeah it's unfortunate that. She took out Xania. I, I, I mean, I, I guess one way to protect Xania for uh, for this team is to put her, you know, on the on the left wing. But I do need the power from uh, you know, like just the boost attack from uh, for uh, Idritha to actually do much damage. So that that's kind of the thing. I think with uh, when they came out with uh, you know talents, they introduced uh, what's it called. Tenacity and uh, I forgot the other one, but you know, you know, anyway, like it supposedly boosts um, or reduces damage in PvP and then uh, boosts uh, damage. So, I and I think it's pr I, I, I don't know the exact value, but it feels like it's probably one to two percent per point because I, I know you know, like I faced my own Midas, I have uh. 12 points into tenacity and you know like if, if i'm using um yellows against midas because i i have a pretty purple heavy setup I, I think i have two purples in my uh sky roll defense it was like you know like the yellows just wouldn't do any damage um and then you know like one of the later wars so after this i i i i put midas front and center you know with 12 points of tenacity or maybe it's nasty or something else but so it's you know i got that some percentage boost to my uh damage reduction in pvp and then you know like those like he survived like all the attacks pretty much except i, I think i one shot once and then um the other two times you know like people attacked me with uh uh purples and then like 
or not not purples, uh, yellows. And then he survived with almost full HP, like every time. So, I, you know, so I think the uh, tenacity does like quite a bit. Um, I, I, I'm guessing like one to two percent per point. So you know, like, so you know, like when I have twelve uh, points, you're looking at about if it's two two percent per point, then you know that's quite a bit. Um, twenty five percent damage, almost twenty five percent damage reduction plus Midas has like pretty beefy defense and then he also has uh, his awakening because I have plus five body from the shop um, yeah I think he also reduces damage every time he uh, uses his skill so so I mean uh, that like improves his survivability a lot uh, but yeah and you know like if anyone knows exact value of you know the uh, those tenacity whatever values uh, the boost you get let me know, you know, Discord or just leave a, um, uh, a comment on the video. That'd be great. And so, yeah, you know, like they, they recently came out with this, this announcement that they will um, change those, you know, tenacity and uh, you know, the other one. So I figured they probably already did it. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Because you see a lot like. You know, especially lately when we face these uh, bigger alliances, um, some of those uh, bigger teams, I, I'm pretty sure they have uh, very talented uh, heroes. So, like, y you're using like, you know, like 180 heroes and you're doing like 20, 30 damage. And then sometimes, like, you know, 100, 200 with a skill, you're just like, man. And, you know, like, especially when they're stacking shields and stuff. It's really hard to get through, um, but I, I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. Uh, you know, at, at least they're looking into uh, changing it to, to make it slightly more balanced. Um, and then, so so this next team, I actually used. Uh, I, th I think I faced this team before, and then I I think last time I, I just forgot to record, and I used a very similar team last time, um, and basically the same game plan. I, I know the Pomera is plus five, and she doesn't have a uh, cursed soul. So I know, like, you know, if she kills one of my heroes, she's gonna kill herself. And so, and I, I actually want, I want to boost her um, attack a little bit. So that's why I fired, fire there. Um, I, I forgot who she took out. Uh, okay, she took out uh, Feyring. That's okay. And then. She has a little bit of HP left. Uh, so she probably has some kind of uh, life steal or something. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. I didn't catch it exactly, but so th that's like kind of like the easier way of taking out um, Palmera, especially if they don't have a shield weapon on her. The, the oh, but you know, that's only if you know she's plus five. And you know, at, at, at this point, you can pretty much assume any of those uh, 90 plus or you know like close to 100 uh, 100k team power their Palmeros are plus five so I mean, that's a pretty safe bet um, and you know from here on like I'm pretty sure my uh, my Palmera can solo the rest of the team um, that's not a big problem because uh, I mean I it's pretty much the same thing last time you know like once I like those heroes died I'm like okay yeah my Palmera can take care of the rest. Um, I, yeah, I think I, I pretty much kept it the same. Um, I used, uh, and I think I used uh, the Survivor for, um, just for holding energizing weapon, like the whip and stuff, so. And well, now I just have to <laughs> turn, get some stones and then uh, get Palmera going again. So anyway, you know, like, and then, you know, like, let's go back to their announcement. So they talked about how they're going to change up the, the Endless Fury Battlefield as well. I, I really don't know, like, what they can do to make it balance with uh, Palmer. Like, any anytime you have, so I, I'm guessing they're going to just remove, like, boosting a hero. Because, I mean, like, anytime you boost Palmera especially with her her mechanics of you know like she um she can you know when she takes a hit or like a, from a skill she's gonna reduce the damage on that same hit 
which is kind of a problem. So it's really hard to one shot her, um, even if you have like you know like a really talented uh, Idretha or uh, or Palmera even, or you know like someone like uh, Show Me or or a Fabula, you know like those uh, sniper greens. But I, I, you know, I, I think they can fix this with uh, just um, making her uh, passives, or yeah, I think those are passives, dispellable. Like you know, the the attack up and the uh, damage reduction. If you make those dispellable, oh, and make it so that it activates after the skill, so that you know, like the first hit will actually hurt. Um, I, I think that will actually change that feel a little bit. Um, I, I know, like, you know, I, I've seen, so far I've seen um, El Mist, and I, I think, oh, in this war, I've seen uh, Morella. It's a good one in that, uh, in that corner. And uh, so, I mean, you know, like, the other heroes are also boosted, but not as much as... Uh, Palmero. So I mean, I think Palmero is probably the most. She, she she benefits the most from being in that spot, so far at least. Um, so I don't know. Like I don't know what they're gonna do to the battlefield, but hopefully we see more diversity. Once you know you get, um, but you know like all the battlefields aside, like they really need to fix the uh, matchmaking. That's like the big big problem. You know I. I I played, um, I still play Empires and Puzzles, and it's kind of like, you know, the matchmaking is so much better there that you, you're basically, you know, you, you, you're no worse than, you know, like maybe 10, maybe 15, like even the, like the most lopsided, um, you know, like if, if you're just playing to your capability, right, like everyone, even with like all the randomness of boards and stuff, you're probably within like five to ten flags each war like you know that's probably the, the worst you can get like as as bad as it gets so whereas you know like in in uh Calvantia, you're you're looking at like basically every match is one-sided uh, you know like uh, uh, unless you really face like a team that's evenly matched um and you know like you're not like everyone knows what they're doing basically like you know you're not wasting flags essentially um so, I, but I, I really don't know how they can fix the matchmaking because, like, the alliances are very, very, very uh, imbalanced right now. Um, and, I, you know, like, I, honestly, I think they, they have to look into uh, a number of people in an, in an alliance because, I, you know, like, I, I don't know the player base, like, the, how many people are actually playing this game right now. I have a sense that it's not a lot, um, you know, like maybe, maybe 100,000, that, that might be too many, I don't know, it might be less than that, and having, you know, like, let me put it this way, if you look at the leaderboard, right, we have about how many alliances that are, you know, like, just like a tier above the rest, right? And so you're looking at about maybe 10. So that's about 500 people um, that are playing competitively, I would say, right? Um, I mean, if you play this game enough, you, you will know that, um, you know, like a, a two, let's say you have two players with, uh, let's say, 230,000 power, right? Legitimate, like, you know, like that's their max, maxed out everything. Like, you know, you're not sandbagging or anything. It will be pretty hard for those two uh, players to consistently take out a 300 player on defense, right? Two times, or even three times. Let's just say three times. It's pretty hard because you, you really need a specific team against those uh, top top defenses, and you can't really. Um, and, and you know, sometimes if you don't one shot, then you have to waste another solid team, right? So. So, you know, like, so, you know, my point is that with 50 players on an, in an alliance, you're, you're not looking at a lot of competition at the top. 
So, you know, like they might have to look into that. I, I mean, obviously, I, I, <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. They're they're probably trying to maximize profits right now. So, um, it's, uh, I mean, I, I, to to balance this game, they they really need to look into the matchmaking, and then, uh, you know, like so. Empires and puzzles, you know, you're looking at thirty. That's probably about right, you know. So if you if you think about it right, you have ten, about ten lines at the top, and really there's maybe about seven of those that are that are maybe competitive. Um, so, you know, even if you make it thirty, that's still about you know eleven, twelve alliances. Um, so it's st still not ideal, obviously, um, but but at least you can. You know, trim down like some of the lower, uh, you know, like the between eight through maybe twenty. They can probably get slightly more competitive at a low, lower number. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, I, I think that's one way to to fix. But they, they probably can't. Then you're looking at uh, changing the battlefield format. You know, because I, I think they want. It, and that, that gets into another thing. Like I, I'll probably just I'll, I'll throw this idea out. Like maybe rotate each battlefield. Like you know, have all the battlefields being the same, but rotate through each war. And you know, I, I don't know if people actually like having these different choices because I, I I've seen um, people complain on the forums. Right, they want to have alliance leaders have the ability to move people from battlefield to battlefield. So, so obviously that that's a problem, right? Because people are not gonna optimize their defense for for their battlefield sometimes, and you know one way to resolve that is just have the same battlefield for everyone and then rotate it each war, and you know that, I mean that's something for um, I guess uh, um, fun plus to think about. But you know, oh and oh this one is interesting. This is actually the you know, like I, I haven't hit in uh, Rune Shields since, you know, they, they changed. And initially I was thinking, okay, wh wh what, you know, what's the uh, deal with uh, putting Colette in Rune Shield? You know, that's kind of uh, interesting because she doesn't counter with shields. So, but then, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll just go with my, uh, my anti-team, you know, but then I, I I see this problem with C light. You don't get to do the vortex damage when you deal damage on shield. So you you know like this team is actually protected against uh, uh, anti team, especially you know with uh, with C light. So and 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 once I lost uh, Wanda, it, it actually becomes really hard to take out anyone. Um, because she's like my primary uh, damage dealer, and, and you know I rely on vortex damage. So, so actually, you know, like anti teams are pretty bad now in in the room shield as is, because every time you use a skill, they get a shield, and then you're not gonna be able to uh, consistently deal um, vortex damage. So yeah, I mean, you know, things you learn. I mean, if, if you don't try it, you, you never figure it out, right? So, um, but yeah, that, that's kind of, uh, that's a thing. So try to stay away from uh, anti-teams, even if they're, like, even if they have a defense that's very enticing with, like, a lot of reds. Or, or you know, you, you can go a lot of blues, but sea light is very, very much um, not that great for... Uh, for rune shield you're not going to be able to do uh, a lot of vortex damage so yeah so i i, I got totally dominated in in this uh in this battle um I, I think at this point i was just like okay let me just take out uh either colette or uh i think i i, I just went after colette and then um and then uh, I, I think i tried to take out uh Garibeth as well but I, could, I just couldn't i just don't have enough firepower so I, I mean, you know, like uh, I forgot who who this was, but yeah, this is a nice defense. I like it, um, especially. Uh, I mean, if if you know any 
set up this defense against anti now uh, that's even better for you um good, so good job um and I, I forgot if i just like fled at some point but yeah because like I'm, I'm just not doing a lot of damage especially against all the shield uh without wanda i'm not doing any chunk damage so Um, so yeah, yeah, back to, uh, you know, their announcements and stuff. I, I, I don't know if they're going to change Rune Shield again, but at the, the way the Rune Shield is, uh, I, I actually been in uh, Rune Shield last couple times since this war, uh, just trying different uh, defenses and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously I can't see my defense, but it's, uh, I don't know, I, I don't think it's that great, because I, you know, I... I uh, well, maybe my my defense is probably not that great either. But trying it, trying different defenses, kind of you kind of get a sense of uh, what might work. So, um, yeah, I, I just fled. And then uh, what's next? Yeah, this is, it's been a while, so I don't really remember uh, what happened here. But oh, oh, the, the next one. I think I went went against uh, Foxy. Um, and uh, Foxy Fox, oh, this one, I, I remember this one. Man, I, I got destroyed in this one. So, um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll blame the board. <laughs> I'll blame the board for this one. Um, but yeah, so it, again, anytime you're going against, uh, if you're taking yellows against Purple Heavy, if you can't get going first, you, you you're gonna you're gonna pay for it too so you know that, that's basically what happened here yeah morella basically just destroyed me um since i can't get going like i was gonna um yeah if i can get going like off of the first couple moves or something i was gonna go like full snipers on morella just to take her out and then yeah but, th but this one like yeah i, I mean th th there were some uh moves that I could have made, but I I really wanted to improve the board, but yeah, I've just not cooperating. And then yeah, at this point I was just like, oh, yeah, shit's hard. And then after that, and it was uh, L missed, oof. Oh, I, so okay, so I had some. Uh, I got some, uh, what you call it, the uh, overload. So that's a plus five Morella too. So, ouch. Um, yeah, I think I was only able to take out uh, El Mist here, and then oh, maybe I took out a couple more. I think I think I took out El Mist and maybe uh, maybe Palmera. I, I forgot. Maybe not. Yeah, it, it, it was just like at the end. It was just. Uh, Zeus against everyone, I think, and then uh, yeah. So I, you know, like, but, but one thing I learned though, it's if, if you have um, if you put a hero like uh, at, at the left wing, give him or her life steal. I, I think that will make it a lot better. It, like a weapon with life steal. I mean, obviously, you, you can't always you know have that, but if possible at all. Lifesteal is gonna be the thing that will save you. Cause you know, had, had I, you know, like my, uh, I think I gave Zeus the uh, smoldering core. If I had a smoldering core with lifesteal, oh, that's, I, I think I might be able to pull off the a, a one, 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 one versus four here. Cause I mean, he, he's doing quite a bit of damage to all. And then, you know, like 15% back, that might be able to top him off. And then he's generating stones. So, yeah. Lifesteal is the way to go. And I think I'm, I'll be able to fire one more time. And then that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, one more. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I got this joy. Um, I, like I said, I'll blame the board for this one. I, I probably didn't play it. Um, I probably could have played it a little better too, but you know, oh well.
And I think I got one more flag after this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who did I go after? Did I try to clean? Oh, yeah, I tried to clean. And I think I, I was able to clean this up pretty easily. Um, it wasn't too bad. Uh, what team did I use? Probably put in uh, Garbeth. Oh yeah, yeah, because I was looking at them like, okay, so they don't have a, well, once you got, uh, once I got rid of uh, Palmera, they don't have a Dispeller. And, and then I, I had uh, Midas and Morella down in HP. So the only one with full HP is uh, uh, Melfort. And then, so I, I think I gave uh, Sigmund the, uh, the leftmost spot, so so hopefully I can get some uh, counterattacks, because if I can get um, better of your going, then you know I can uh, set up uh, share damage and reduce damage, and then if uh, Morella hits me, she's probably going to get counterattacked a lot. So and and I took out Midas. Like I always want to. Like usually when I see a Midas, I, I want to take him out first, because like. Every time, his first charge is usually pretty fast. So um, I don't want to get into a situation where I, you know, I, I get a hero down with low HP and then they get a shield. That's kind of like, that's really annoying. So I, you know, I just didn't want to deal with that. And then, yep, get Alden going. Yeah, I, I never have any luck with Alden with, <laughs> you know, it's like whenever he clears the board, like I rarely get a match for, you know, for reds off of the, the Cascade. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a thing, like, so yeah, so I got some counterattacks in, got rid of Malfort, and then, so hopefully I can just hit her a couple times. So I think I probably just need to, uh, make one more match and then you know another round of specials will we'll do it yep yeah and, and then you know for, for this war we got we got destroyed too um i think uh i forgot if they were able to i i think they, they flipped us three times as well and then we, we just couldn't do a, a second uh flip so yeah we got dominated yeah, they, they've improved quite a bit. So, um, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.